we're back. And I promise this will not be a two-hour video. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm going to try to make this a little bit quicker. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to whip out some loads for these two gondolas that were the future of the two-hour extravaganza. And, and what I have, and I'm trying to, and again, I'm going to try to make it simple. I, I don't claim any expertise on gondola loading and how it would be done, but what I have is a bunch of old pieces from the Central Valley bridge kit that I built. These were, you know, drop pieces that were cut off of the, the main structure pieces. So there's some shapes like this. I got some shapes that are with the... Oops. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's hard to get out of there. With the uh, the web on both sides, just kind of some good looking, you know. I'm saying it's a, it's a scrap load. It was a project somewhere that was finished up, and then the customer said, "Get your junk out of here." So they loaded up some gondolas and we're getting them out of here. So what I'm planning to do is use these something like that in this car these are some of the leftover plates that were used for the very rivet plates and then we'll just come in and i got one cut out here and again i'm not sure where they're going to go but then you know we'll just come in and i, I what i did was well, i did use the the rust set on these i figured what the heck i had it out i kind of like the way it looks so then we'll, what we'll do is we'll just come through and like i said cut all those out i don't you know bore you with those details this here is a bunch of other ones that I'm just kind of playing with. How would I set it up? This being a little bit longer because I had some of these smaller, longer pieces that look kind of cool. And you can see I got it set on some old railroad ties as dunnage. I have a bunch of old railroad ties. I think these are Central Valley ties I've had for ages. Uh, they look about the right size. You know, whatever, they fit nice in the car, so I'm just going to use them. And then I want to make it removable. Again, so I can, you know, have the car loaded. If I want, just boop, just pop the load out. So I'm thinking of, you know, probably start. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just kind of playing right now to get a feel for what may or may not look good. Just start with some pieces, you know, some dunnage here. I guess I got some ties thrown on top of these. I got these three. Might be a little bit tight, but maybe, you know, start with two or whatever. And, and then super glue these down. Because, again, I want to make it all one one piece. And maybe put them this way. I'm not sure yet. Uh, again, I kind of like the way this, these rusty pieces look, you know, with, with the rust from the set. So I might try to keep these a little bit more visible. And, again, you know, I, I do not know how they would load this up. But I figured it, it's a scrap load. You know, you got to be able to handle it. You need to be able to get it out of the car, wherever it's going. It's easy to throw it in the car, I assume. So that's the plan. So let me think about this a little bit. And then, like I say, I'll just get them all kind of super glued together. Maybe add some chains to tie around it. Or, you know, I, I don't know how they, you know, would they do a whole lot of securing in a car like this? Oh, you can't really see back there. But if I did use that type of load situation so we can do this here you can see how they're kind of sitting in that car you know would they would they tie these down inside the gondola i don't know you know how would they do that because this they don't really care about these pieces you know what i mean it's not like it's going to be you it's going somewhere to be scrapped to be melted down so they might just throw them in a car and say the heck with it have a good day and wherever you get you worry about unloading it you know <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but we'll see. Yeah, you know, I do. I do have some scale chain I could use just for fun or something like that. So let me let me think about this a little bit. Uh, you know, noodle around how I want to use the the ties as dunnage and and with the with the forethought that I want to be able to make it removable when it's done, so I can take these in and out. And then, like I mentioned before, when I get these set, see what's left and what other kind of weathering I want to do on the bottom of the car. So when they're empty. You know, they look a little bit beat up, you know, throw things in there like some, you know, scraps, you know, uh, leftover rusty type pieces and some dirt, debris, animal hides, <laughs> whatever else may be laying in the, in the bottom of these darn gondolas. So, all right, we'll be back when I uh, think through this a little, a little bit more. 
all right <laughs> I have no idea if this is right so what I did is I took two I made two side stacks of you know three of these pieces all I did was just super glue on some of the ties across the bottom and set it down then super glued on two more ties here then glued these longer pieces on then slap these guys in then I had it in the car you know because then I can kind of handle it as a single load and thought well maybe I ought to put on the side just put some dunnage there just in case these want to roll out you know there's always one guy in the crowd who's gee guys should we put something on the side I'm like come on Methuselah I just want to go home and watch the baseball game but anyway so that's kind of how that looks now and I, I have some other detail items I think I can add in there. I don't know, maybe put some chain on it or let's see if I can show what this looks like. And it's not look oop. <laughs> that's focusing in on there or not. You know, trying to figure out where the focus I don't think it is. Yeah, okay. That, that doesn't look terrible. Right? That could be a load in a gondola. And then I do have some room to put some other stuff on the on the floor and I don't know maybe slap some chain around it just for fun uh, I don't know all right so what I figured I'd do again this is not going to be all that exciting but what I will try to do here just to show you what I did I'm going to make up the set for the other car and I'm going to have two sets they're going to kind of sit at the ends you know kind of over the trucks I guess that makes sense right put the weight over the trucks so I'm going to take these two here and then just take some of the ties and just simply super glue them right in there. Again, I have no idea if this is how they would do it. I have no idea if this is proper, but I figured, hey, I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I'm taking some super glue. I like this stuff. Of course, this bottle is freaking gnarly. This thing has been... <laughs> I can't see that, but it is a mess. I'm amazed it still comes out of the bottle. Anywho, and then just take one of these little micro tight brushes, slather on some uber glue, put it on the. I know it's a lot of super glue, I know. I just take it and slap it on here. Boing. Ba boing. Hold it down and then get another. Where's my other one? Take this one here. And I'm using some world famous zip kicker. Just because I want to keep moving on here. Not that it takes too long for super glue to dry, but ah! See, it moved on me. I want to get that super glue to set. Hopefully it will. It did on the other one. It, uh, Hold it down there. I know you probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of getting the getting it in around it with the zip kicker to hold that in there. There we go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It always falls off. We can always add some more. So I'm just going to add the other. Of course, it would be easier probably if you weren't looking through my damn hand. Copious amounts onto the piece of dunnage in there. Hold it down. I, I, I'm going to move so you can see, but I don't want to get my finger in the super glue. Look <laughs> at my hand. Glue my hand to the bench. And this I don't care if this gets across the load because it's, it's a rusty old dirty load, so it's not meant to be something pretty. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like. And I may come back in and do some more rust in the weather anyway, so. Alright, is two enough on that? I don't know. Uh oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh well, that's the way they loaded it. Sorry, Rob. You made a mistake, but that's the way it's going to stay. Okay. What did I do on these? Yeah, these are the kind of, I wanted to do all three like that. I must have grabbed the wrong 
Yeah, I was going to use this one instead. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, well, hey. That's the way the scrap crumbles. So, let's keep going here and super glue this up. Do, 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 do. That there. If I do it that way, although this is a little harder for me to work, but maybe you can see. flow in there so that moves a little bit gotta hold it once it gets in there and it sets up it ain't going nowhere you ain't going nowhere okay okay keep right on hustling along here get this one I have no idea if it's even oh of course you can you know, trying to work and make sure that the, you at least have an idea what I'm doing is not that easy. Especially for me. And again, I want to glue my hand. The, you can't. Can I go this way? <laughs> I can't. I can't do it so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe like that. And then just come in. Now these brushes tend to get gunked up pretty quick when you use the Zip kicker with a super glue. Again, I'm not worried about it being pretty. Okay. I should have it. All right. So there's those two. Now, it's all I was going to do is just kind of add one here, one there. But. Being the righteous engineer that I am, I'll give him some. I don't know that he would do this. I really don't know. But I'm going to take real quick this. Slap that there. Ba ba boom. Get the Z zip kicker. That's the official sound of zip kicker. Why do you guys watch these videos? All right, there. All right, there. Just for the hell of it, and then we'll get another one here. Do, 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 do. Oh, that was not quite the right shape. That's a reject. Maybe I'll throw that in the bottom of the car. That's one that Cletus didn't like, and he just threw in the bottom of the gondola. worry about these being straight to be honest all right that brush is kind of lost that brush is a lost cause pick up another one these are a bunch I bought a pack of these on eBay or no we no no not not eBay the other evil site Amazon they're actually little makeup brushes but for this type of work they do fine okay all right I got those two there you get two more. Because my super glue is getting pretty ratty. And just slap that there. Pop, pop, button. Zip kick ya. One more. Yeah, 
Yeah, not too worried. Get it on there. Bubbing. Get the zip kicker. And this stuff flows nicely when you get it on there. Oh yeah. Okay. So that's that. Then only two big pieces I have are these two left over. Again, I didn't quite do this the way I wanted to. Darn guys loading the car. You didn't load it the way I wanted you to load it. But what I'm going to do, now for here I'm going to use some of the slope. Oh, can you see that? A little blown out, but it's the thicker. I'm just going to put a drop there. Und there. And take this bad boy. Just set it on there. Hold her down. Get some of the ZK. That's the acronym for a zip kicker. Okay. Look, uh, it takes a little bit of the thicker stuff, it takes a little this stuff few more seconds sometimes. Just hold it on down. Hold it on down, boys! Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it looks... Okay. I'm somewhat happy with that. Now, this nice rusted up one. Again, do the same thing. A little bit of the... the thicker CA here and here. I'm not real worried about it. I'm not trying to be super pretty. Boom. Hold it down. Zip kicker. Boom. Ba boom. There. Probably using way more than I need. Just hold it down. <laughs> Okay. There, there you go. There's two. Now, let me get this out of the way because I have spilled that stuff before. Like I said, I still have all these plates. You can't see what, what I'm doing here. Let me, uh. Now, let's sit there. Let me readjust her. And let's not spill the super glue. Okay, so if I go something like this. Oh, a gondola now. And I'll set that at that end. And set that at that end. Over the trucks, of course. Of course, that's how you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, it looks like a scrap load, right? I, I guess. Looks reasonable. I don't know. Any experts out there can certainly tell me. Although I'm probably not going to do much about it because <laughs> once this is done and posted, I'm going to move on to something else. So now what I'll do is probably cut these pieces up. Cut them out. Not to cut them up. And then, I'm, you know, I'm going to say they're just, boom, they're just thrown in the car. They just threw them in there saying, you know what? We're not worried about it. When you get to where you're going, hopefully they have a magnet. Although, ah, I take that back. Hmm. Because, again, I want it to be removable, right? So what could I put these on? A skid? Would you actually put these on a skid? I just can't see a skid surviving more than, like, 13 seconds in, <laughs> in a situation like this. I don't know. All right. I'm going to take a quick pause. Let me let me think about how I want to get these loose pieces and, and, and have the ability to remove them so I can have an empty or a loaded gondola. Hmm. Such things to ponder. All right, I'm going to try to show this. I don't know that I'm going to be able to. What I did was I added some Berkshire Easy Line Heavy kind of around with some strapping to kind of hold these together. I, I don't know if they would or not, but that's what I decided to try to do. Again, I don't know if that's going to focus. 
I put three on each of these two here that are in this car. And again, I guess I'll probably set it toward the end of the car, right over the trucks. And I don't know. I might have to take some pick -a <laughs> I just don't know how well that's showing up. You can see I have three on this one, three on this one. It's not real fun to do, but I figured they might do something like that. So what I'll <laughs> I'll try to show you how I'm doing it. Again, no promises because I just don't know if this is going to even. If I'm going to be able with what I have to do to make this work. If I'll even be able to show it to you, but I will give it a whirl. What the heck? So I have one on the end of this one. I'm going to put one here. I'll put one here. Give me one here and, and one here, just for some visual interest. So I turn this over. And again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this and be able to keep working. Need some fresh super glue. And I take a little bit of the line. So I even need my magnifying visor so I can see what the heck I'm doing. So I'll come up about here. Where is it on the upside? I want to come around. Yeah, toward this end here. So over here. I'd take some super glue and just kind of hope and pray I can get it in there. Boom. <laughs> All right, then just hold it there. Doesn't take real long till the super glue sets. Okay, then get some slack here. And then just kind of pull it around. This isn't as bad. I can kind of do this with my big ass hands. Okay, so now I've got it set. I don't think you can see what the heck I'm doing. But I have it set. And pull a little taunt and then add some more super glue. Two spots on the bottom there, then let it set up. this and not get in, the, in my, so, my own way. <laughs> Oop, okay. And then, that's it all visible. I don't know, for some reason I'm having a hard time getting this damn camera to freaking focus. I apologize for that. Let me come back a little bit. Doesn't seem to like the focus when it's on telephoto. So there's two there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put I guess for the sake of completeness we'll put two on this one. i got to be real careful of the glue. I don't want to get it all over my fingers. Okay, I want to be right there, right about here. You can go a little crazy on a super glue here if you you don't have to, but it's on the bottom, so you're never going to see it. Okay, should be good enough. Give it some more slack. Wrap her around here. Pull it to Oops, Got a little bit of dunnage there. Well, it's okay though. These third shifters didn't really care. They just wanted to get some banding on it. 
pull it taut, some more glue, boop, 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 dot there, dot over here. Now this sets up pretty quick. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about putting zip kicker on it because it, it does set up relatively quickly. And yeah, it does hold pretty good to this, whatever the you know material this Berkshire line is. Okay. Ooh. Seems a little bit over the dunnage there. Ah, uh, rats. Well, okay. not exactly where I would want to run it but now this one's gonna be pretty close because I'm near the end of that other longer piece so that's gonna be really in here somewhere these are gonna be kind of close together but that's okay Oops, I lost it. Phew. Like I said, this is hard to see. I think. Plus, I don't know why I can't have the damn thing that could focus better, but hey, caramba. Okay, that's good enough for that adventure. So now that's got two runs of banding, I guess. I don't even know if they had banding back in the late 50s today. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things you never think about. All right, a little bit of visual interest. Again, I don't know how visible currently it is. Again, with my, let's see. We'll go in super close, folks. <laughs> yeah, you can see it there. Okay. Now again, will they, will they actually do that? I don't know, but. So I got the two on that, on this car. And then, let's see if I turn this a little bit, it might show up a little bit better. Come on, focus, you bugger. Uh, okay. So like I said, just you know, a little something there to... Give it a little bit of interest, and I still, as you can see from these pieces laying here, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that and make them removable. But okay, oops, I mean, so that's how they're looking so far. I would like to get these in, I think these would look pretty, pretty cool, but I don't know how to do it. I'd like to just throw them in the car, but if I want, if I want to make them removable. That might not work. Or, if I just lay them in there loose, you know, just let them loose, who cares? It's not like they're going to fall off and hurt an HO scale person. And then that way, maybe I will do that. If I want to empty it, I just got to dump them out of the car. I got to be careful how I'm going to weather the rest of it, but uh, maybe I'll try that. All right, be right back. Okay, so to finish this car up, Here's what we're going to try. So here's the load currently. As it's set up. 
I think it looks okay. And like I said, it is made removable. So I can pull it out of the car. Like that. And then in the bottom of the car, I know it looks a little strange <laughs> just being segmented like that. But that's because it's got to fit with the load in there. But if I run it empty, I at least wanted some debris, a couple tools laying here. Like a big hammer on a wrench piece of chain and some other type of stuff just laying around the bottom of the car left over and then what we're going to do I'm going to be careful in the area where the load's going to sit but I'm going to try some different Vallejo pigments and then a pigment binder to kind of bind it in so I've got a burnt umber again just kind of a darker brownish type color a brown iron oxide which is kind of a medium dark rust type color and then a natural iron oxide kind of a nice dark color for the various debris so i'm gonna do and hopefully i don't spill <laughs> get the binder over here so that's the natural iron oxide and we have our yeah, that's a nice rusty color that brown iron oxide. And then a burnt umber. So all I'm going to do, get the load out of the way so I don't break it. Uh, let's see. Let's take some of this brown oxide here. I'm just going to kind of lay it in the car. This is just to kind of simulate some of the dirt and gunk and junk that's going to you know, lay inside the car. And I do want this to be chunky, I guess. <laughs> Powdery, because again, I, I'm, I'm trying to simulate some of the, the stuff that lays in the bottom of the car. I don't know how well this will show. Maybe if I spin it this way. And again, this probably would depend quite a bit on the actual loads the car tends to carry. Let me get some of this brown in here just for a little variety. And along the edge here where some of the wood also would probably get damaged. And I've seen some pictures of cars where you look, you look along the edges and you can kind of tell that it's some like wood, I don't know, wood debris I guess I might call it. Here. I gotta be careful here because this is where the the loads do tend to sit, and I don't want to make them totally uneven. And again, down at this end of the core, and this is just some the, the actual pieces here are some um strip wood pieces I'd laying around some thin um, aluminum siding that I had weathered with the PCB board etchant for a roof. I think on one of the kits that's actually over in Fairview now. Again, this is just to give it a little bit of three-dimensional gunk. <laughs> this rust is kind of bright, so I want to be a little bit careful with that. And I realize you probably can't see a whole ton, but we'll try to get some after pictures. <clears throat> Let me see how this looks on the end of there. Yeah, that's a little little. A little bit of variety to the not too much. These pigments seem to be a little bit finer than the ammo of MIG pigments. Not in a bad way, and we're saying they're just a little bit uh, physically finer type of pigment. We'll come in here around the stuff here in the center. Got a little bit of rust in here. And 
Let me get it right on the piece of strip wood there. Some more flaky, rusty debris over here. I just want to check how much room I have. Yeah, I can go a little bit more. Okay. Gotta come out of here a little bit. <clears throat> if it's off a little bit, not by off, I mean, if it's uh, does tend to elevate the load a wee bit, it won't really matter. Because I think it'll sit close enough to level. You're not really going to be able to... Let me just say that no one's going to come here and throw a level on it. I just spilled some pigment. I don't know. Just kind of make this kind of a dirty, mashy look here. It all kind of... I think when I add the binder, it's going to kind of Tune it down a little bit. I don't know, so I've never actually done it this way before. Usually I kind of put scenery stuff in and then use, you know, soak it with wet water and then come in with diluted Mod Podge. Just like you're doing scenery. Alright, so now if I do this car empty, I'm trying to keep some thin. coloring here not quite as again I don't want this to be too three dimensional because I don't want to throw the load off too much but a little bit Iteration of this or not, we'll see. I'm gonna just kind of get this in there. Get some bit of rust along the sides here where it's probably would accumulate. Again, it might look a little odd when it's actually empty, empty. But maybe, uh, maybe not too bad if you said, well, you know, I had a load in it before and that's why it looks a little bare here, but let me see if I can just add a little bit of three-dimensionality to this here. Okay. A little bit of dirt and grime and gunk. Binder. Let's see what the heck happens here. Put this in an acrylic binder, so I assume you can always hit it with a little bit of water as well. But let me, yeah, in fact, let me just clean the brush a wee bit. <laughs> Since it's got all those pigments on it. Okay. Let's see here. Mr. Vallejo, how's this going to work? Kind of beads up a little bit. Again, I'm not going to for the I'm not going for the look that the car, you know, had last hauled sand or uh, you know something like that. I, I just kind of want it to look like there's some leftover debris, loose debris, and there's always some kind of I won't call it dust. That's just the wrong term, but uh, you know what I mean. Stuff again. Again, when I looked at some photographs, it looks like the, the wood floor got scraped, and there's like little wood shavings along the edges, uh, quite a bit. And this is just for more of the. Uh, let's say some stuff might flake off of the whatever load it was carrying over time, and then just kind of accumulate. 
on the floor because I really don't think they have people coming in here with vacuum cleaners to vacuum up the insides of gondolas. <laughs> like one of the commenters last time, in great comment, he must have had a crew and worked on emptying gondolas and had some really interesting tidbits on what these cars look like, which is kind of what I figured. But I do appreciate comments like that from people that actually experienced it. Because it's always helpful to have the real world input. Even though you think that's the way it is, it's always nice to get confirmation. So I do appreciate that. Because me, I'm just guessing, to be totally honest with you. I don't really know if this is right or wrong or... But then again, it's just a model rare car, model gondola made of plastic. Not the end of the world. Okay, so that's got the binder in there nice and juicy. <laughs> I'm actually going to pick up some of this leftover spill. <laughs> Just kind of add it back in. What the heck? Why waste good pigment? Okay, probably really hard to tell now till this dries, and it should allegedly dry to a nice matte finish. And I'm certainly hoping that it binds, you know, it binds all this stuff in, similar to what some matte medium or Mod Podge diluted white glue, etc., etc. So I'll put it in here a little juicy here at the end. Just to make sure, I'm gonna just come back in with a little more pigment. Because I seem to have an awful lot of the binder. Even mess the end of the car up a little bit with some of the natural oxide. Go along this side a little bit. Alright. Okay, good enough for now. Uh, again, probably really hard to see. It's kind of glary. It's even glary here, me just holding it on the bench. So, we will let this car set up. And if this turns out acceptable, I'm going to call it done. Spent way more than 10 minutes on these cars, right? <laughs> That's a joke. All right, I'll be back when this dries up and see how it looks. Okay, here's the car <clears throat> after doing the pigments on the inside. Again, just to give it a kind of a dirty, grimy look, I guess this car would be used more for steel scrap pieces and whatnot, just given the kind of the dirty, darker nature of it. I don't know if I'll be able to, let me try to zoom in here. focus okay hard to tell but I think it looks okay and then if I turn it this way I realize this might not be quite as good of you <laughs> all right yeah that looks fine so this is what it would look like if the car was run empty now, of course most of the time it would have our handy dandy steel load and that's kind of designed to fit Let's see if I can get it in amongst the rubble <laughs> the bottom yeah somewhere near like that maybe a little bit more like that right there okay so that is it if I can get ooh maybe that light will be okay let's do a super zoom do 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 There you go. I like it. It was fun. 
And now I am done. <laughs> I'm tired of playing with these gondolas. Maybe I'll just get go over and lay out, get a couple still shots of them loaded up. So that's the Redding USRA gondola. And of course we also have doo -doo -doo -doo, the Accurail USRA, or I'm sorry, AAR. Same thing, let's see if I can zoom in on here. Those plates there in the center, they're just laying there. I'm not going to worry about trying to secure them in. They just got thrown in there, and I said then Bubba and Cletus were on their way, and they're not going to let someone else worry about how to unload them. <laughs> so that... is that. One car, two cars. Two cars, one car. That car, this car. All right, there you go. Loaded up and ready for revenue service. All right, again, thanks for watching. I'll have to see how long this video got. I thought it was gonna be short, but you know, knowing me, probably not. But at least I kind of got a load and uh, that wraps up the two gondolas. So hopefully it was uh, interesting and a good way to pass some time for our social isolation. All right. On to uh, other things in the layout now. Thank you.